Aren't those kids great? We'll hear more from the National Day of Prayer coming up in just a moment with the pastoral address from Pastor Al Elmore. And I really encourage you to stick around. The first time I heard this on the National Day of Prayer, I was just awestruck by the statistics that he presented and what's happened to our United States as a result. But right now we're gonna keep talking about God and prayer in summer activities, namely summer camp at Kirkmont Center in the Zanesfield area. Chris Conley is here with me to talk about this camping experience. Chris, tell me a little bit about Kirkmont Center. Well, it's, uh, it's been in operation for 54 years. It started as a Presbyterian camp um, in 63 and it's uh, the last four years it's turned into non-denominational non camp. And the thinking was that they could appeal to more uh, churches. You didn't ever have to be a Presbyterian to go to this camp, but by removing that stigma, it, it uh, just we wanted to open it up to anyone that we could get. So what does anyone mean? Are we talking about kids camp during the summer, sure. activities for groups? What all happens yeah. at this place? Uh, primarily, it's, it's kids through June and July there's a there's a 12 week schedule that we offer and um, <clears throat> in the month of May we have outdoor education which many schools are there right now we have Mechanicsburg and Urbana that's been coming to our camp for about 25 years so some of the volunteers helpers that's coming with the teachers actually went through the experience themselves mm -hmm. so that's kind of neat to hear them talk uh, but they come for like a two or three day event and it's primarily revolved around science so it's outdoor education um, in the June July time frame it's more it's all Christian based and um, <clears throat> we provide camps but there are also churches that come to us that say we know what we want to do we just want the facilities mm. so we we can tailor it either way oh that sounds yeah. great that's yeah. great well let's talk about the facilities in a little bit but first I want to mention a few of the camps that are this year right. uh, just a wide variety really something for every kind of child sports mm -hmm. camp adventure camp two-week camp, you can, parents can really yeah. send their kids away for a couple right, weeks, right. robotics camp, <clears throat> uh, camp rejoice. So you're offering something for every interest, basically. Right, that's what we try to do. The, the robotics camp's new this year, and, and we had a teacher that approached us with the idea, and we thought, why not try it? And we've already had some good response from that. So um, many of those camps have been going on year after year, but like I say, we're always open to what's new so that we can bring in more people. There's a lot, uh, a lot of uh, different activities trying to get kids' attention nowadays. Mm -hmm. So it, mm -hmm. you know, it's tough. So we're talking about things that are getting their attention: sports and adventure and robotics. But right. yet, this is a Christian environment. Right. They're not just coming for those secular things. They're going to exactly. do all that. Right. But God is in the middle of this too. Exactly. Right. Right. Every morning starts off with a prayer, and every evening ends with the vespers, so the campfire singing, and things along that line. So. So tell me a little bit about the camp grounds itself. Let's mm -hmm. get these kids excited about okay. what they could be coming to see. There's, uh, there's 277 acres. Um, we've got uh, a rock climbing wall. We've got a zip line. We've got uh, canoeing, fishing, hiking. Um, there's many things to capture their attention. Um, <clears throat> they'll, they'll sleep in what we call cabins, which is a cabin tent combination. So it's, it's in nature, but at the same time, it's not um, out in the sticks, mm -hmm. okay? So they're up out of the bugs and things along that line. It's got a roof over it, it's got canvas, uh, so they can keep it up if it's colder. Typically it's not that time of year, so they keep it down for the ventilation. But uh, the kids always come away with, with an experience, and, mm -hmm. and we see so many comments of, of how I can't wait till next year, you know, come back to camp. Why do you think it's important for parents to choose something like this? Parents can pick about anything for their kids in the summertime. Why send them to a Christian camp yeah. for a week? Um, you know, that's a, that's a good question because I'd never attended camp and I didn't send my kids to camp because um, I just didn't see the value at the time. But in working with, with the camp for the last few years and, and seeing the different uh, results that come out of it, uh, kids that go there are truly enriched and they, they come away with stories that um, how they felt so accepted, you know, and, mm. and for the first time in my life, I found God. and. So it's really uh, a good experience. And uh, like I say, we hear so many good things and, and not just from the kids. Many times the volunteers will, will share their stories as well. Mm. And uh, so it's, it's, it's been a real good experience. Kirkmont Center is located near Zanes, 
Field. Zanes Field. I always want to say Zanesville, even though that's not near yeah. us. That's in a different <laughs> part of the state. Um, and it's uh, summer camp opportunities. Encourage you to go here. Here are the phone numbers and there is the email address to, to contact the individuals at Kirkmont Center. They also have a website where you can find out all of the information about all the different camp offerings. KirkmontCenter.com. Looks like a lot of fun. In fact, if my two girls are watching this program right now, they're probably going to say to me, Mom, Mom, mm -hmm. we want to go to camp. Well, we're almost out of time, but with more, like we said earlier, there's more than just uh, opportunities for kids to go to camp. And we're talking about kids all the way up into high school ages. You've got camping for the high school right. age right. kids, but you also have rental facilities right. and you have things coming up. And June 4th, you have a Back to the Basics Day. Right coming up with some fun things to do. Right, this is our second year for hosting uh, National Trails Day and it's an event across the country. Uh, we're one of the few sites in Ohio and we'll get people from all over the state that'll come. Um, this year we, we have this celebrity uh, from the Weather Channels named Creek Stewart and he's going to, he's a uh, naturalist. Uh, he's gonna have some programming there at the same time. And so we're looking forward to as many people as we can get. It's a free day. There's a lot of different activities that, that are, are going on that day. But uh, as you said, it's just an opportunity to see the facility mm -hmm. and, and uh, explore what we have to offer. All right, wonderful opportunity to get outside, be in God's incredibly wonderful creation and how better than on more than 200 acres of what a beautiful, beautiful location. Go to our events calendar at WTLW.com to find out more about the uh, event taking place June 4th at the Kirkmont Center. And then think about camping opportunities. We're kind of getting past some of the early bird registration times already, but it's not too late to get involved. You can go to KirkmontCenter.com to find out more information, or you can call that phone number, those either of the two phone numbers or the email address that we have on the screen for you. And also don't forget all of you organizations that are looking for places to rent, to have your own organizational events. Kirkmont Center is an opportunity and folks, it's not far from us. Logan County is very, very close. Well, as we mentioned at the top of the show, Pastor Al Elmore brought to us a very strong message at the National Day of Prayer on May 5th at the UNOH Event Center. He cites statistics and examples that paint a picture of the path the United States has taken since God and prayer was removed from the schools. Here now with more on that is Pastor Al Elmore. 